For all of you out there that may be wondering about these huge black ants that you have in your yard, this little segment's for you. Hi, I'm Scott with Pestlock, and today we're talking about carpenter ants. For some of you, you may be looking at ants in your yard. You have big ones, little ones. You're not really sure what they are. Is this important for the environment? Is this dangerous to my home? If you have a large black ant or a winged large insect that you're trying to identify, uh, generally speaking, here in the Northwest, you're gonna have a carpenter ant. One little disclaimer to that, there are smaller species of carpenter ants that can be confused with quote unquote sugar ant. Those are technically like an odorous house ant or a pavement ant. It's a smaller species. We're living in the middle of natural resource all the time. So you're certainly going to have carpenter ants. They do amazing work. They're a great food source for birds and other animals. They're all a part of a great ecosystem. But in the home, the potential threat to a very large investment of yours. You don't want big carpenter ants crawling around your kitchen and you don't want them tunneling through the wood of your home. You'll see them in hollow doors or old pipes or any tunneled out area where they can nest. A little known fact to a lot of people is that carpenter ants are primarily nocturnal. So if you see a couple during the day, it could be an indication of a far greater issue. In some cases, maybe you have earth to wood contact and so you have soil touching the, the bottom of your siding and that could be moved away or you have shrubbery or trees or conducive conditions. What kinds of things around my home or my building or the structure that I'm trying to protect uh, are actually making the problem worse that could be modified. So there's a lot of things that you can do just to be more effective in the overall perspective of pest control without just being out there spraying. And the basis of all pest control is properly identifying the pest itself, understanding the biology of the pest, what makes it tick and what its patterns are. And in many cases, you can reduce pest populations or even have a pest-free living environment or business just by modifications without ever using any drop of any chemical whatsoever. Well, that kind of wraps us up for today. And it's been so fun hanging out and talking about ants and talking about approaches to pest control and really understanding what you have on your property. We offer free inspections. Uh, to us, that's part of just our community involvement. That's our commitment to you, to the environment, and to our neighborhoods right here at home in the Pacific Northwest where we're at. If you ever need help with inspection or properly IDing what you have around your property, Pest Lock will be there. Just give us a call.